Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel in the second tutorial on the basics of Dig Silent Power Factory, where we are running as a case study here, a simple a load flow simulation analysis. Where we've got a uh, two winding transformer connected between uh, the grid bus bar and the load bus bar. Now, as you can see, the simulation is running. We've got uh, about 0 0.208 kilo amps of current being drawn from the system. Now, in this tutorial, we basically going to look at where we can use different network scenarios, right? The different kind of network scenario actually give us the ability to see and uh, preview what can happen in case our network start expanding or maybe we want to use our network with different type of loads. Now, to make sense of what I'm saying here is we've got an operation scenario that is running here that we designed on our tutorial one where we basically set up, right, the load here to be of 10 megawatts, right? 10 megawatt and a power factor of 0 0.85, okay? And also we've got an external grid, right? Our generating substation there uh, that is supplying us with a uh, one volt per unit, right? As a slack bus. Now, if we want to rename this scenario, right? So that it can be identified based on the characteristics that we've got here, then we can create a uh, uh, different scenarios from here okay that we can also give different names that way when we run or activate scenario per scenario we can see where we can see the loading on the transformers and other characteristics that's important to us right now without any further ado let's go ahead and rename this current operation scenario so we're going to rename it to match the parameter that we've discussed here so that's mainly we say a 10 megawatt load and a one per unit for the grid Z. So we're going to say grid, okay, is one volt per unit and the load is a 10 mega megawatt. Okay, so that basically going to reflect this scenario here. Now we're going to add onto another scenario onto our network. So we're just going to go new new scenario now you need to decide what you actually want to simulate here so now you've got your result based on a 10 megawatt okay and a one volt per unit you can say okay i'm going to keep the grid to be at one volt per unit but i'm going to change my load characteristics here to be let's say a 15 megawatt load and maybe change the power factor as well so let's say we keep the grid here at one per unit and we change the load to be 15 megawatt and also the power factor to be 0 0.8. Then we can say, okay, so that is a one scenario we have. Then we have to go ahead and add a third scenario that we want to analyze you can add as many scenarios as you want you can even change your transformer characteristics in one of your scenarios so you know what the characteristics of your transformer is you can change the vector grouping of the transformer if you want to you can change the short circuit uh, voltage of your transformer but that will be only important if you're going to run also a short circuit analysis that you can see how much that affect your short circuit current and all of that. Then any other parameter that is important to you. We're keeping this transformer at 20 MVA for now. Okay. So then let's go ahead and add another scenario. By the way, before we do that, please guys, if you find this tutorial useful, don't forget to subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. That is the kind of support that SimTech channel will really want to get from you. And also, if you feels like you need more out of SimTech channel, you are welcome to become a member of this channel. And by becoming a member of SimTech channel, you can receive advice on your project and whatever you are busy with regarding power system analysis. So let's go ahead and add another scenario. And in this scenario, I want to uh, add a 5 megawatt load. So we're going to change the grid here to 1.5. 2 
per unit and we're going to change the load also to a five megawatt load we're basically going to decrease our load and we're going to increase the power factor here to uh basically 0 comma 0.95 okay so we're going to improve the power factor there okay so now we've got all these different scenarios here now it's only now up to us to basically run this different scenario and see how how a grid or the transformer here is going to respond to that and based on that we can make informed decision moving forward with our network that we're planning to erect now after defining your scenario you need to actually go ahead and action the changes because right now they basically copies of the first scenario that is active here so i'm going to go ahead and activate this second scenario right so when i activate the scenario right we can see that this the operation scenario data is incomplete see operation scenario report detail okay so we need to basically activate this so i'm going to uh, go ahead and make some changes we say that we're going to keep the grid at one per unit and the load at 15 megawatts so i'm gonna click on my load here okay and we need to start changing so i'm going to change this load to 15 megawatt the power factor 0 comma 8 and that is it for this scenario we save then we come to the second scenario or the third one rather then we activate this scenario we need to save the data on that other scenario great you can see that the scenario have been updated now we come to the scenario that is now active now here we say we're going to change the grid here let's go ahead and change the grid so we're going to put it a 1.2 uh, volt per unit okay so that's the per unit voltage being sent by the generator okay so now we close that and we change the load to a 5 megawatt so 5 megawatt and a beta power factor for this load here that is comma 95 now we're keeping our power factor inductive you can change it if you want to make it a capacitive load that is up to you let's rather make it capacitive okay we're just simulating here then we say okay great now these need to be saved as well so we go ahead and save it now you can now basically run your scenarios from here let's go and first run the last one here the third one where we are already active so i'm going to go ahead and execute right now we can see this scenario is uh, up and running and we've got a phase voltage here of 22.89 kilovolt remember this is uh uh remember the bus voltage here is 33 kilovolt okay so that will be a phase voltage and this will be a line to line voltage that is slightly higher because the per unit voltage here is 1.2 that is coming from the generator so now this case is a good case we can see a very low uh, current being drawn from the system and the power factor is 0 0.95 we've got only 1.6 mega volt ampere reactive so that is a reactive power that is constantly being exchanged between our uh, network uh, substation and the load because of the difference in the voltage and the current phase angle so now let's go ahead and try another scenario i'm going to stop this and activate this second scenario right let's go ahead and give it a run as well we go ahead and run it and there we go so now you can see here on this scenario we are having an overloading here okay so the transformer is actually being almost almost overloaded remember this is a 20 mva transformer and we are drawing an active power of 15 megawatt out of this transformer so we basically almost overloading the transformer we're very much near the overload that is why you can see the line have turned red here okay and you can see the amount of current here on the secondary 0 0.33 kilo amps of current 
and the reactive power as well is a lot of reactive power 11.2 megavolt ampere reactive compared to the previous case here where we only had about 1.6 react uh, mega volt ampere of reactive power so here you can see uh, the per unit of the generator is set at one and your phase voltage here is 18.68 now remember this is a 33 kilovolt secondary so which means your phase will be 33 divided by the square root of 3 and that gives you a 19 and you're getting about 18.6 so there is a little bit of voltage drop on the system so now let's move on to the previous scenario which we actually have already simulated we know already the result of this scenario but for simulation sake let's go ahead and just give this another run and we can see we've got the previous information that we already had in this scenario right now notice on this scenario here we've got a phase voltage of 18.84 kilovolt and on the previous scenario where we had a 15 megawatt load the phase voltage was 18.68 so you can see that the higher your load then you got more voltage drop on your system and this is actually we start having a line onto the system because if we include a line here then there will be more drop onto the system because of the voltage drop through our line okay so now we're going to now uh, move into a new case here where we're going to look at the network variation now in the network variation is basically almost like the scenarios where we change different uh, load values and and so forth but on the variation we basically can add in the combination we can either include another generator onto the grid or we can add different loads onto the system so now for simplicity here today we're just going to add another load on our system and simulate that as a different variation for our system so let's go ahead and stop this current simulation and come onto the network variation and we're going to click on new variation okay we're going to say extra extra loads okay so these are extra loads on our system okay and we say yes great now these extra parameters is not so important for now you can just say okay and yes right you just want to add some extra loads and the rest you're not too worried about them right now now let's go ahead and add in another load here so i'm going to just click on the load and add it onto the system so that will be on cubic number three there we go there i've got my load here so i'm gonna just expand this a bit and then move this a bit on the side okay then we need to basically edit our load here okay so in terms of editing our load let's come to the load flow now this extra load let's go ahead and just add it to eight megawatt of load and a two mega uh, volt ampere of reactive power so we're gonna leave it just as a default okay and we say okay right let's go ahead and rename this new load to load 2 so that it can actually uh, reflect and be different from the load that we have here and I'm going to change the font as well of this load okay to font 6 then we need to increase here okay now we've done this on our previous tutorial to see how you can actually change the font from your your data that's are uh, being displayed so that you can have a better uh, visual now let's go ahead and give this a run here because now remember we are on scenario uh, grid with a one per unit and a 10 megawatt load here now we've added another load of 8 megawatt with a 2 MVA reactive, okay? So we're going to now uh, run it and see what is going to be the result on the transformer here. Basically the loading on the transformer. Right, now as you can see here, okay, there is now an overload here. The transformer is 100.4% overloaded, okay? Now the current being drawn here is 0 0.351, okay? and we've got a 10 megawatt here and the 8 megawatt 
okay now look at the reactive power here is 8.2 okay because now it is divided you got 6.2 reactive here and 2 mega volt ampere reactive so now this is a situation on this current network variation with this scenario now let's go ahead and activate this uh, scenario here where we had a 15 megawatt load now remember now we've got a 15 megawatt load that's now going to be coupled with the 8 megawatt load that's going to increase the overloading on our transformer let's go ahead and do that so we're going to basically deactivate okay let's first stop this and deactivate that scenario and we activate this new scenario okay now our network variation is still activated we're going to go ahead and run the new scenario okay now as you run the new scenario you can see that we've got problems here the transformer here is basically saying here that it is let me just increase the font here okay now there is an overloading here of 136 percent overload on this transformer okay because we've got a total power of 23 megawatt being drawn from a 20 mva transformer so that is a problem okay and we've got a current of 0.476 kilo amps that is being divided between the two loads here so that is how you can actually simulate your system based on different scenarios and variation now if we uh disable this scenario here right the expansion of that load okay we can say let's let's remove that because clearly it's not adding value to our system unless we increase the size of the transformer so we go ahead and run we start the network variation and you can see that the loading on the transformer is only 95.6 percent so we are back to the previous version without the network expansion because now the network uh, variation have been disabled so you can bring it back on again you have to stop uh, the simulation and activate it again and maybe go on to a different scenario here and see what it does onto your system so guys that is it for this tutorial so if you found this uh, useful interesting please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated until next time cheers